Today in this lecture, we are going to talk about the role of baroreceptors in long-term control of arterial pressure. We are discussing the baroreceptor arterial pressure control system in the nervous regulation of the circulation. We have discussed the buffer function of the arterial uh, the baroreceptor and we have discussed the physiologic anatomy of the buffer uh, baroreceptors and we have discussed again and again that basically the baroreceptors are present in the aortic arch and bifurcation of the carotid arteries and they try to regulate the arterial pressure they try to regulate the arterial pressure but the effect is more in acute control acute control now we are today we are going to discuss the long term control in the acute control of the arterial pressure we discussed that whenever the arterial pressure increases whenever the arterial pressure increases the baroreceptor gets stretched and they send signals to the tractus solitarius in the middle of the brain and then the brain uh, decrease the uh, vasoconstriction and decrease the heart rate which brings down the arterial pressure similarly when the arterial pressure falls the impulses from the baroreceptor decrease when the arterial pressure falls the baroreceptors signals from the arterial pressure uh, baroreceptors uh, decrease and then the brain increase the vasoconstriction and increase the heart rate which helps in increasing the arterial pressure that was more important in the uh, control of arterial pressure in acute conditions and we also discussed that if the baroreceptors are removed from uh, someone like when baroreceptors were removed from a dog then we uh, discussed that the variation on the in the blood pressure uh, control or the arterial pressure control was uh, very much uh, more as compared to uh, a mammal or a human with normal baroreceptors now in this lecture we are going to see whether the baroreceptors are helpful in long term control or not basically this graph is showing the number of impulses with uh, after increase in the arterial pressure now if the arterial pressure increase acutely suddenly and then it falls the baroreceptors are functioning but if the arterial pressure increase if the arterial pressure increase and it stays it stay there then what happens here we see that the arterial pressure is around 100 mm of mercury and the number of impulses that are being uh, transmitted to the brain from the baroreceptor are normal this line is basically showing the normal level of impulses being transmitted to the brain from the baroreceptors now the blood pressure the arterial pressure has suddenly increased to 170 mm of mercury the arterial pressure has increased to 170 mm of mercury but the arterial pressure is not coming down rather it is staying at this level of 170 170 and 170 so from the normal level of 100 the pressure has increased due to any condition to 170 and it is staying at this level now in the acute conditions the impulses the number of impulses from the baroreceptors the number of impulses from the baroreceptors has suddenly increased as well but is the arterial pressure is the arterial pressure is not coming down and it has it is uh, it has increased for a long period for a long term therefore in these conditions the the impulses the impulses from the baroreceptors start decreasing gradually it starts decreasing gradually initially after few minutes it starts decreasing and then in a matter of 1 to 2 days the number of impulses has come down to this normal level it has come down to this normal level so initially acutely the impulses increased and the baroreceptors try to decrease the arterial pressure with the help of nervous control but is the arterial pressure has incre increased for a longer period of time for a long term therefore the baroreceptors were unable and their impulses have gradually decreased to normal level and this is known as resetting resetting or reset 
they have reset with this increased pressure and they are now considering this 170 as the new normal. This graph shows that the baroreceptors are normally uh, not very much important in the long term control of the arterial pressure. Now this thing is uh, true in the in the low arterial pressure as well. Now this graph shows that the number of impulses, the number of impulses are uh, are being uh, transmitted to the brain at a normal level. This is now the normal level. Suddenly the arterial pressure has decreased to 50. At normal arterial pressure the impulses were being transmitted to the brain at a normal level. As soon as the arterial pressure has decreased the impulses to the brain has also decreased. The impulses has decreased and these decreased impulses are basically trying to increase the arterial pressure. But as the low arterial pressure is being maintained for a long time, it is being maintained for a long time, as here the higher arterial pressure or the increased arterial pressure was being maintained for a long time, Similarly, here the lower arterial pressure is being maintained for a long time. Therefore, the decreased impulses that uh, the, the decrease in the impulses uh, that revert slowly and gradually to the normal level. So here after some time, here after some time, the impulses from the baroreceptors which initially decreased due to decrease in arterial pressure which was trying to basically increase vasoconstriction and increase the heart rate have now returned to the normal level. This proves again that basically the baroreceptors they are uh, not very much important or they are unable to control the arterial pressure when the arterial pressure is increased or decreased for a longer period of time. Although this increase in impulses and decrease in impulses with increase in AP and decrease in AP shows that they are important in acute control. Now there is one important thing and some experiments have shown that if the arterial pressure remains elevated for a long time, the baroreceptors are not able to increase the impulses or they are not able to maintain low, low impulses in lower arterial pressure but they try to they try to modify the sympathetic system of the kidneys or the renal system so that the kidney starts losing water and salt especially important in the uh, higher arterial pressure or when the arterial pressure is increased for a longer period these uh, these baroreceptors they send the impulses with the help of their impulses they try to modify the sympathetic innervation of the kidneys so that the the kidneys are not able to retain water and salt and it should decrease the volume it should decrease the volume of blood and it should help in decreasing the arterial pressure. So although the baroreceptors are not able to bring the arterial pressure in the long term directly, but in the long term they basically modify the other systems and they try to decrease the arterial pressure. So the baroreceptor arterial pressure control system in the long term is such that initially they do respond but slowly and gradually they reset and they are mostly unable to do anything or to maintain their increased or decreased impulses when the increase or decrease in arterial pressure is for a longer period of time. So that's all about the uh, role of baroreceptor in long term control of the arterial pressure. And it clearly shows that the uh, control of baroreceptor is important in acute control but in the long term they they cannot do anything directly but they do play uh, some more they do modify some other systems and they do help some other system to anyhow decrease the arterial pressure towards its normal level 
and this experiment also shows that there is a role of the nervous system which is our main topic the regulation of the circulation with the help of nervous system or nervous regulation of the circulation thanks a lot for watching the video